Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the fruit of the Spirit with Dan Irvin. Well, welcome back to the Five Good Minutes podcast, looking at the word faithfulness. And I want to look today, I want to travel to the book of Luke. Uh, chapter 16, we'll look at verses 10 through 12 today. And Jesus says something here that is pretty startling when you really, really think about it. Jesus says, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with very much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, Who will give you property of your own? These words really, when we think about it, challenge how how I think about faithfulness, specifically in in small things. I think I often think about what matters the most are huge, big, life-changing moments. But Jesus says something here that's different. He's saying that that faithfulness is built in the in the hidden moments, the everyday choices, the seemingly insignificant tasks. In fact, I think it's how we handle these small things, Jesus is saying, that reveals our character and shapes our ability to handle even even more responsibility as God might give it to us. Now, I think in the world we live in today, this, this might feel a little counterintuitive. I think we live in a world that glorifies the spectacular and the, uh, the big... Um, the big thing that people might do. And I think our world might often overlook the small mundane moments. We all would probably say we want to make a huge impact to achieve something great, to change the world. But Jesus teaches that the foundation for for being great in the kingdom of God is being faithful to the little things. I think this means that that God is is watching not just uh, what we do in the in the major moments of our life, but he's, he's interested in the day-to-day details. It's the conversation with a coworker. It's the interruption that we weren't expecting and how we react in that moment. It's the interaction with uh, someone at the store that we run into there. Oh, I wasn't really expecting to talk to this person or maybe a, a person that we run into on the street that we don't even know that's asking us a question. I think it's in these small moments in which God is, is shaping us, informing us, and that perhaps our, our true character is, is being uh, revealed and formed. So this idea of being faithful in the small things, I think is, it's tied directly to how we understand God's faithfulness. Because I think we often think of God's faithfulness is in these big, dramatic ways, his, his deliverance, the miracles, his, his provision. And while those are certainly very true expressions of his Faithfulness. The, the Bible is also uh, clear and shows us that God is faithful in the ordinary. He sustains the universe by the power of his word. We saw that in the book of Hebrews a few days ago. He provides uh, food. He provides care for, for animals. He, he knows the number of hairs on our head. God is faithful in both the big and the small details of life. So if God is faithful in the small things, I think that can be an encouragement in our lives that we can be, that we can be if we live. Remember, this all goes back to living by the spirit. If God is in us, if he's really, if we've really trusted him with our lives then we can trust the spirit of God is living in us. And the reality of, of that is our faithfulness to God can be an expression of our trust in his character. Because when we're faithful in these little things, we're declaring with our actions, God, I trust you. I believe that even these small moments, they matter to you. I think one of the best examples we see of this is, is in the life of David. And long before he came, became the king of Israel, David was faithful in the fields as a shepherd, tending sheep, defending them from lions and, and bears. No one saw him. No one applauded him. But God noticed his faithfulness in was preparing him for greater things. The, the small acts of faithfulness in, in David's life equipped him to be a king who could lead a nation. 
Now, I don't think that's to say we're, we're all to be kings one day and, and to, to lead nations of people. But I think the truth is we're all being prepared by God in these small moments. And the beauty of it is that our faithfulness in these moments doesn't just prepare us for something bigger, but it, but it glorifies God right where we are. Every act of integrity, every moment of service, every small decision reflects on who God is and reflects on his faithfulness. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.